best about the business side of the food service industry. Do you make food? Then let us help you make money. Want to connect with us? Check us out at Make Make Money on Instagram or Facebook, or email us info at businesschef.org. Hey, hey there! Welcome to the Business Chef Podcast. I am your host, Chef Sean Boucher. Today, you get to hear me ramble a little bit today because I think that I need to. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, as most of you know, or as those of you who know who follow social media accounts and things, uh, which I'm guessing is quite a few of you out there, it seems to continue to grow. I don't know why, but uh, I guess we're doing something right, and I'm okay with that. Uh, Here's my rant. Here's my little, uh, in my opinion today, because I, I think that I need to do this because for some reason people just don't get it and I don't know why. At the end of the day, whether you're a restaurant or a food truck or some sort of food outlet, you serve food. Now, why do people come back for food? Well, the bottom line is people come back for food because it's good. They come back because service is good. They become they come back because food is good and they come back more often when it's consistent. Well, the challenge that I'm running into, um, like I mentioned earlier, is I travel a lot. And as I travel, I get to see a lot of things. I get to do a lot of things and I get to eat a lot of places. Now, a lot of you might be saying, Oh, man, I would love to travel. I would love to do those things. Anyone who's ever traveled for business will let you know that that is not necessarily the funnest thing. And, you know, another hotel room is another hotel room. Another rental car is another rental car. Another flight is another flight. And for those of you who know me personally or who have seen me in public know that I don't fit anywhere. I don't fit on planes. I don't fit in tiny little rental cars. I definitely don't fit in some of these hotel beds that are about as hard as a rock. Thank you very much, hoteliers. Anyway, obviously food is a big part of my life. And so when I go out to eat somewhere and the food is flavorless, it's a challenge for me because that is what it's about. We eat because we have to. Let's be honest about that. But we also eat because we get to and we want to. And it's an enjoyable thing that we seek to do. It's a thing that we do when we get together with people. It's a thing that we do when we're by ourselves and maybe feeling lonely with bonbons or whatever it might be, that tub of ice cream after after we've been dumped or had a rough night or whatever it might be. So because food has such a powerful influence on our lives, those of us who serve food have not only the the right or the privilege to be able to serve people, we have a responsibility to make it worth their while. Now, we've, we've talked before on the podcast about the current state of affairs that we are in currently as an industry. A lot of that has to deal with a lot of factors out there. Um, The fact that people can go work elsewhere for more money and less stress, less responsibility, less running around. But at the same time, we have things like immigration and things that are changing our industry that we might not have a direct control over, but we just end up having to adapt to what is given to us. Food and flavor are not one of those things. We have the ability to make flavorful food, to make food that is good and nutritious as well as memorable. And what makes food memorable? Flavor. Now, for those of you who maybe struggle with this, Start with some basics. 
I do a lot in healthcare, and healthcare is huge on not adding fat or sugar or salt or some of the things that a lot of us kind of cheat to do to add some of these flavors. So five flavors, what are they? If a lot of you don't know this, we really need to start from the beginning. The five flavors are sour, salty, bitter, sweet, and umami. So what do we need to do to maximize those? Well, I'll tell you something that I have been using for years that I love and makes a big difference and doesn't require a ton of fat or sugar or salt. It's citrus, it's herbs, it's oil, and it's umami. So if you're wanting to add flavor to things, you really need to be able to taste for one. You know, figure out what something tastes like. If it's bitter, how do you make it less bitter? If it's too sweet, how do you make it less sweet? If it's too salty, how do you make it less salty? The thing is, is that you have to be able to know how to do some of these things to really correct dishes or make dishes right in the first place. So my advice to everyone out there is figure out how to taste and then figure out what you need to do to fix some of those things that aren't great, either on your menus or as part of your offerings. I always suggest to people that if you're going to put your name on it, then you really want to be able to put your name on it with no reservations. You want to be able to say, yes, I stand behind that dish. I venture to say that it's very difficult to watch somebody eat something that you've made and go, eh, it's okay. Because guess what? They probably won't be back. But if someone eats something and says, man, that was awesome. That was good. I want more of that. I'll be back. That's what we're shooting for. And how do we get their flavor? So please, this is a selfish request <laughs> for those of us who travel and who go to these places and they get these four and these four and a half star reviews on Yelp and then you eat the food and you think, oh, wow, it's just like anywhere else. It's not that special. It's not even anything very memorable. I need flavor. So please, on behalf of all of us who travel, on behalf of all of us who eat, who go out to eat, wish to go out to eat, or want to maybe even get in the food business and show others how it's done, please make your food flavorful. Even if you're using convenience products, please do things to add flavor. You would be surprised what lemon juice or zest off of any citrus, orange, lemon, even grapefruit, lime, the citrus, the zest on the outside there adds incredible amounts of aromatics. And please, 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 please make food aromatic. Use fresh herbs. Use citrus zest because it makes such a big difference. And for those of us who are voting with our dollars or our clients' dollars or our company dollars, it really makes a big difference for us. And it makes being away from home just a little bit easier. Not easy, I didn't say easy, but just a little bit easier. This has been a public service announcement and a wish or request or whatever you wanna call it from Chef Sean Boucher. Please make your food more flavorful. And if you need to know some resources to do that, reach out to me. I'm happy to share. But for the love of mercy, do it for all of us. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Be sure to share this podcast with your friends, family, co-workers, or anyone who's interested in When you get a second, give us a review. It really helps us get the word out as well as letting us know how we're doing. Want to connect with us? Check us out at Make Money on Instagram or Facebook. Or email us.